Yo, oh, what's up everybody? This is a rambling video. I'm going to be rambling on about the things that have been said and done over the weekend. Uh, some of the bollocks that they've come out with. So if you don't want to watch, stop watching it now. There's no point in you watching it if you're not interested. Um, I do want to bring up a few things. If the penance and the uh, Merc spamming is still available and the Thorium cheats are still available, I'm going to be calling them out every single fucking live show. So kick side if you're listening. If you don't want me to keep saying things like that, put a patch in, get them fixed. Get that that part of the history of the War Commander over and done with. Let's move forward. I know you did say it's an ongoing project, but the penance and mercs, if you don't see them as a problem, you need to think again because if they're cheating the penance and the mercs, they can use them in their all the rogue bases and all PvP bases. They don't really have to use any of their platoons. They're just going to spam them, rebuild them with free thorium, and spam them again. And the mercs, I'm not sure how that one works. No one's. I haven't got no information on that. But they, they're, they're either doing it where they can build multiple mercs. So they can, I think the picture that I see the other week was 99 of each mercs. They can build and there's a 50% reduction on the timer. I don't know if that's true or if it's... I know the 99 units of each is is a hack. But I don't know about the time. It might even be free. Uh, I do want to go over the, 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 the video that was made. Uh, one of the SS Suicide Squad guys made it claiming that he was only using them uh, boosts for farming. That's bullshit. 100% bullshit. There's no other way to go about it. He, he was using them cheats to manipulate PvP. Um, with all the, the boosts running, the gold boost, the silver boost and the bronze boost, their units were 120% stronger than our units. Fact. So it, all the crying in the world, all the being upset and pissed off and feeling sorry for yourself, but I only used it for farming. That's a load of bollocks. 100% a load of bollocks. And they was using it in PvP as well because they was coming into everyone's base, one-tuning them because their units were so much stronger than everyone else's. You couldn't damage, barely damage them units because they were 120% stronger than everyone else's. So I'm, I'm happy Kicks I've patched that. The next one I'm going after is the Mercs and the Thorium Hacks. Um, I hope Kicks I listen to this video and understand I'm not going to stop until the, the, everything is patched and the game is is fair for everyone. They've they've also got a Kicks I got to take a long look at themselves and start thinking about the future. The game's ten years old. They're still using the same coin, coin infrastructure. The same. Let's just make it as expensive as we can and see who spends. Reduce the coins. More people are probably like more likely to spend. You don't need to be. You're a ten ten year old game that's fading out very quick. And especially if you're going to start going over after the cheaters, because they do coin. I know they coin because they know if they coin, the chances are they will, like light's been shown, they get a seven-day ban. You've proven that, that. As long as they coin, they will only get a certain amount of time to uh, as a ban. And I hope you give them reduced levels on some of their units, or across the board for many of their units. Bear with me. Um, yeah, it, that, that video was a bit of a joke. He... He's trying to make everyone feel sorry for him. That it, what a load of bollocks. I'm sorry, but it's a load of fucking bollocks. That them boosts were being used in PvP. The gold boost, the silver boost, and the if you get two, you get one for attacking and defending on all three, on the gold, silver, and bronze. And they were using it across the board. It wasn't just for farming. Oh, but I was only using it for farming and events. Bollocks. Every one of you were caught using it fucking in PvP. We were sending in the screenshots left, right and centre. And I think that whoever was, ha whoever was producing hacks eventually found a way so they didn't show on the screen. But they were still active in the background somewhere. They didn't show on that on that little bar in the top. Wait, let's go to a base and quickly show you. Just this one. You only need to attack it so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's send him out. When you looked here... When you was being attacked, so you'd, you'd attack, and then you looked here at the boosts running. You would see bronze, silver, and gold boost defensive at, and attacking. What that did is that give a sixty-five percent or sixty percent on your attacking power DPS to every unit, and then a sixty percent defensive, so armor. On your units and that was across the board that wasn't just for farming that was for PvP and I'm not gonna put up with that bollocks people saying oh yeah but kicks I haven't they've patched the big worst one out the top out the lot because I couldn't I couldn't stop their units and I I've got a full base and my units are up there you just couldn't stop them 
and now they're, n they're not going to have that cheat anymore. Yeah, maybe I'm going to get spammed by Mercs because Kicks Higher ha haven't yet patched it. But I'm going to keep going on about it. I'm going to keep bringing it up. I'm going to keep saying about it. And the Thorium hack needs to stop as well. And, and the penance spam, you can't do a lot about it. As long as they've got penance and they've got room in their armory, it's not really a cheat. But I'm, be I'm, I'm being told that they have got a way to build unlimited penance, which is the Thorium hack, I believe. So maybe make the penance a, a five-minute build or ten-minute build each. So you can't just build thousands of them in one hit. You, you've got to time build on them. I keep bringing that up in, in past live shows, past, past videos. It's, it's kickside. They've got to fucking shape, shape things up. But if you want to remodel this, you've put a lot of work, effort into making HMTL5. You've got to fucking follow through. You can't just rely on your morals. I, I understand it's an ongoing process. And you've got a, a thing in place now that will read, detect if they're using anything to inject into the game. That's a good thing. But I'm still seeing them videos of the mercs being spammed into people's bases or even into rogue bases just to prove their point. Um, but uh, uh, kudos for blocking that. Uh, the um, what's it? The gold boost, silver boost, bronze boost. They needed to be patched. They were they were getting all three of them for free, all six of them for free. And that means their their platoons were just 120 percent better than everyone else's, which is unfair. For very, very little coin or zero coin, even. Anyway, um, other than that, the uh, the Proteus base kicks I sort it out. How can you spawn two different bases? Everyone's got their fault. I, I didn't get me 40 parts because I want to make a video next week, but everyone I know has got their 40 parts because you ballsed up once again. You've got to start fucking thinking of things. If it comes to Friday, you're in the office in War Commander, you've got to have a checklist of what's what you've got to check to make sure it's fucking everything's okay over the weekend. Are the, are the uh, Proteus bases spawning correct? And tick it off as you check them. It's not hard. It's not hard. Organisation isn't hard in that company. The, 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 the actual hardness of them bases was a fucking joke. And the, the uh, Proteus itself looks like a fucking other joke unit, dead in the water fucking um, destroyer kind of like thing. Um, gravity well. Um, I see it fire grenades that put my units into slow-mo. You can call it what you want, but it's slow-mo. That's all you've done to the units. Um, yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Um... I don't know. I know they're trying to do something good. Maybe it's not fully coded into the game. I don't know. Uh, maybe they haven't decided how they're going to go about making it. Because I thought it was going to lift my unit off the ground and make it go upside down like it was anti-gravity sort of unit. But it's not. It's a slow-mo. It's a version of slow-mo. They're going to call it St. Kells, but it is slow-mo. At the end of the day, I can do that. If I go to my gear store, I can make any unit have slow-mo on it. Uh, special Ops, sorry. But I've got slow-mo already. We've got it, Kickstarter. You've put nothing new into the game. That's a, such a shame that, that that unit looks fucking absolutely dog shit. Um, getting back to the cheats. Yeah, that, that video was a load of bollocks, guys. He wasn't just using them to farm. And and the way he was typing, why didn't he go on the, on the microphone and... Or at least one of them that made one of the three videos or four videos out there. Go on the microphone and, and explain exactly how it, was, how it was going down, what they did. Yeah, it's beyond me. Anyway, it's a slow day today, so I thought I'd make a little video. Just me rambling on, going on about the game, talking about the game and talking about the problems. And people, I've seen so many people getting mad because Kicks ain't patched this yet. They've patched the biggest problem. And that was that 120% unit boost. Their strength for their unit was 120% stronger than ours. That's the, that was the biggest fucking problem. Every unit they put into our base was 120% stronger. There was no way to defend against it, and I'm happy that's gone. But we will keep pushing, and as long as you guys keep watching the show, and you keep fucking, you know, the voice is getting bigger on the show, so the more people watch, the more kicks I will have to listen. It's as simple as that. Um, they do have to listen. They, we do put a little bit of pressure on them, and then they, it's not just the pressure we put on them, it's the pressure that people put on them for Discord after finding out about these things, and then... More pressure gets put on them over on the um, forums. It's it's a combination, but the shows are good. I truly believe we're we're in the right direction with them, and I'm I'm trying not to be so so fucking angry on them anymore. But it's very hard to fucking not be. I'm a little bit happy over the last week because Kicks have finally 
held their hands up and said, yes, there's problems in the game. We are starting to fucking look into it. And they've, they've, they've took away the biggest problem for me. If you don't understand what 120% on your unit is, you're crazy. 120%. It makes it over twice, twice as good as any of our units that we've got. Anyway, guys, peace out. Like the video if you liked it. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you're a Suicide Squad member, make sure you give it a thumbs down as well. Just to let me know that you've watched it. And I will catch you soon. Ta-da, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, just a little side note. My little base wasn't banned either, guys. Uh, someone, a few, I see a few comments saying, you're, yeah, but we haven't seen your little base for, for a while. Yeah, well, here it is. Sitting in Sector 2, looking over all the, all the craters. So, uh, yeah, enjoy.